All right, you guys. So I can't find Pokemon cards anywhere to open, like anywhere. I've gone to Walmart, I've gone to Target, I've gone to the local card store. Surprisingly, they're sold out as well. And on top of that, it doesn't help that they don't open up until like three in the afternoon because they're open until three in the morning because you got nerds out there that want to, you know, play games and everything. So anyways, I was like, okay, I'm going to go to CVS because I heard that they might have some evolving skies at CVS. Well, they didn't. But what they did have are some mystery packs. So we're gonna open these. I have no idea what's in here. It says, just all it says on here is look for vintage packs. They're seated one out of every 10, there's a vintage pack. We actually have four of these we're gonna open. And then on top of that, there's also one holographic card in here and they're from 2022. I'm not exactly sure like what to expect out of this, but we're, we're going to definitely give this a try. So we're opening up the first one. And like I said, I have no idea what's in here. None. Ow. I got a paper cut. So, yeah, I got a decent paper cut. So the first one we got is going to be a Battle Styles pack. Which, I mean, you can't really complain too much about. And I legit got a paper cut. And then, of course, the one hollow is all bent to hell. It's a... Um, Buffalant. It's all bent though. So let's open up this battle styles pack and let's see what we got. And like I feel like this pack has already has been resealed. With how I think this pack's already been resealed. I'm gonna tell you right now, do not uh, one, two, three, four, do not buy these because I have a feeling I might have been ripped off. With how the code card was in the uh back there. And then on top of that, like how the pack felt, I think this pack's been resealed. Because I think this is actually from MJ Holdings. Yeah, I got decent paper cut hound door. Let's go. We got Prime Ape. Alright, so let's go into the next one. And I'm not exactly sure what to expect. Hopefully, I'm hoping that we can get something decent. I have no idea ow, what to expect. And guess what? We got ourselves another battle styles. And of course our holographic is a celebration Russia Ram, which I mean, I'll take that. It's not too shabby. And like I said, it's like the pack, it just feels like loose on here. And on top of that, it doesn't help like battle styles is just a terrible, terrible set with like and then on top of that, the code card's facing out. Here's the code card for anybody that wants it. One, two, three, four, four to the front. So we're, uh, we're not gonna count our blessings on these because I genuinely think that these packs have been uh, resealed. So, and like I said, the seating and the uh, pulls on battle styles are atrocious. Scrolls, swirls and a crowbat boom let's get into the third pack here i guess i have no idea what to expect i have no idea oh we got something different we got ourselves a vivid voltage so in vivid voltage i've pulled quite a bit of it and i still have yet to get any kind of uh hits at vivid voltage but i would like to get the chunky chew out of vivid voltage we'll have to see though all right so we go this one doesn't feel real resealed now the battle styles did for whatever reason one two three four four to the front let's get into it now the hard part is is actually getting pulls from any of these like battle styles even vivid voltage like I said, I'd love to get the Chunky Chew. Now, I have probably a better chance. Yep. Gin a sec. And we're moving into the last one. I have a better chance at getting struck by lightning than getting a pull from uh, Battle Styles or Vivid Voltage. Which our last one is going to be Chilling Pain. And then, of course, the Holographic like scrappy reverse i'm not surprised 
like like I said if you take a look like it just like the pack doesn't feel tight at all like I feel like they've been resealed for show potentially not here is the code card one two three four to the front but I got these on sale usually they're about $14 I think the lady at uh, CVS said and they had them on sale for 10 so I was like let me get four of them because I knew I was gonna get ripped off and uh, I'd highly recommend not going for any of these ooh that's a that's a decent pull but um yeah on a scale of one to ten was it worth the ten dollars absolutely not but it was a lot of fun uh let me know down in the comment section what are your all's thoughts on these i think it was done by mj holdings um because most of these yeah done by mj holdings and on top of that these were from 2022 uh, let me know down in the comment section what are y'all's thoughts on these mystery packs from CVS. I'm going to tell you right now, I do not recommend them. Save your money. Go out to Walmart. Go out to Target and buy loose packs or buy booster boxes or buy ETBs. It's You have a much better chance at getting decent pulls out of them vice these mystery boxes. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.